For optimum accuracy and productivity, the work holding should allow as many operations as possible to be done in a single clamping. Reclamping or rechucking have two negative impacts. First, when the workpiece is moved, the location of the workpiece in relation to the machine tool is lost. That compromises the accuracy of the part. Secondly, the time required to set up a part for machining is non-value added time, adding costs and waste to an operation with each unclamp clamp cycle. Although a single clamping cycle is ideal, two or more clampings or chuckings may be required when datum surfaces must be machined first, or a through hole has steps on both sides, or a part has blind holes on opposite sides. Accuracy can also be affected by part deflection, depending on the part geometry and cutting operations. So the work holding must grip the workpiece strongly enough to prevent parts deflecting from the cutting forces of machining. Accordingly, the work holding can influence what speeds and feeds are possible in a machining process. The choice of work holding also influences what cutting tool path can be programmed into a CNC machine tool. And highly clustered part setups may limit the size and shape of the cutting tools that can be used. When multiple parts are mounted and machined in a single setup, time and cost savings can be significant. The average time per part for loading and unloading may be reduced. And since each cutting tool machines multiple parts before being changed, the average time for each cutting tool change is reduced in the piece cost. Multi-part setups allow these savings up to the point at which they are offset by increased fixture costs.